get straight into the action here. Imperial on the CT side and the T's. It looks like it's going to be this top hit coming straight in. Vinny with the dual Berettas though on top of top puck. Could be a little bit of a mystery, but nevertheless, 19 completely overrunning Imperial. Find the kill. Fallen's made, made his way up vents now. Holding for any flank to lobby, but it's going to be in the upper heaven that two players go down. Now it's just Lucan in the 1v2. He's got the position here. They are aware of him being inside of Hut. That bomb gets tapped. I'm not going to fall for it. No, it does break out. And FNX. Yeah, and because of those stayed weapons, they're not in the best position. Bolt's going to be a nine. Could be in a good spot to find one. He finds two, in fact, even with Slashbang blinding him. He gets Ross and David. He barely takes anything for his troubles. FNX is going to find Max as well. Lucan does get a trade onto Vidi, but now they're in the two on four. And with Lucan going down, it's just everything to do. Finds the first on Bolt's. Treated out cleanly by first. So. He gets Molotov straight off the line. This spam, it's actually going to connect all the way through. 9Z, they take the outside smokes, they leave it late, and they've been punished with this spam. It's an early man advantage now for Imperial. As 9Z, they look to make their way down secret, but who's there already? It's fallen, and he drops the bomb. That's a lot of information given to this CT side, and as the kills keep coming in, it's just always in the favor of this CT side. Two versus four is looking a little bit unlikely for 9Z. Yeah, they're also in the orc position where they know that bomb was dropped in, in front of Fallen with the orc, so they're a little worried about going for that. So they're looking for kills elsewhere, but that's going to lead them right into the crosshair of FNX, although Lucan is aware of that flank. Still, with 20 seconds and three to find rounds they've gonna... accumulated, will allow them to continue to fly up. But Imperial... All they really needed was that opener, and they were able to come. Just creeping over towards main. That should be joined with the bomb on Rox's back. Once again, 9Z, they completely catch Imperial off guard. This MP9, it's not going to be even a contention to this one, but falling on this off angle could just make it a little bit more dangerous. Two kills already, and now Rox, he's trapped over towards A. Main. He's going to swing out, but FNX will catch him on the retreat. And DGT's got himself in these lurk positions time and time again. But this one versus three now turned. Is this one versus two? It might just be a step too far. That info though, he's now to molly off. These two players are very isolated, so there's still a real chance he can do this, particularly if he can find Fur here. Fur's just gonna bail, but I have five seconds left. Yeah, he's just gonna try and hold on to this AK. Fur is actually lost in here. Maybe, yeah, he's actually gonna get away with this and even find Fur at the end, so not the one. <laughs> They're outplaying. I'm gonna try to outplay 9Z, but. Might not be the case. Double ramp set up allows J DJT just to kind of capitalize upon it. But meanwhile, on the other area of the map, Bolts has found a kill outside. And it's a little bit scary. It's a good position here for Rox as he's crept all the way in. Fallen's on low HP. He's going to need to hard clear it. Definitely not going to be ready for that fight. But Bolts is there with the immediate trade. This round, it's getting scrappier and scrappier for Bolts. It seems that he's aware of everything right now. It's actually a good spot now. This crossfire is going to stab up over towards A. Gun out David as he does spam down through. These kills are going to have to be essential. They're going to have to fall into the seat in his favor. But once again, it's chaotic on this bomb site. It's only fur left. There's simply no time. And 9Z, they survive the late Lovely exit. here. Get a bit of spam out. Connects. Looking like he might want to peek into HUD or just hold for any aggression. No, he is going to take a little nosy out. Going just for a fast play, he's just gonna run out onto Sykes. Catches David off guard, he's continues progressing through, he gets a second, Vinny gets the, the team kill onto him in the end. He's gonna be killed going down outside as well, and now Lucan left in the 1v3, aware that Fur has pushed out here as well, so has to be super careful. Might just try and save this orb, and a bit of money. Finds a kill onto Fur. Oh, the Molotov is rained down over towards A. It may be a little bit of a ruse and maybe a neighbor to creep in towards main and he will completely eliminate Max. But there's still two defenders here. And once again, Imperial, they've reached this 20 second mark. And they've really got to get a move on right now. And they're just going to be cut down to size. DJT. Yes, he just stays alive for long enough. And the bomb, it can't be picked up or planted in time. 
So now, once again, Imperial, they leave it late. They rely on... If Baron's able to find this kill here, it'll be all be open. So David has everything to do. Finds the first of the Fallen. Vinny finds one on the rocks. He's able to get a second as well onto Fur. It's in the two on two. His teammates coming out the vent as well. In the perfect position for the trade. Vinny, he gets taken down as well. And then DJ swings oh, in. upon it. Incredible heroics there from Max. He's just stamping down the authority. This A bomb site, it belongs to 9Z. And Imperial, they're going to have to change the tides of this game. With the trades coming in back and forth, it's still this man advantage for the CTs. Yeah, Fallen's managed. No one down here to greet him at the moment. So there is a chance he could just pop onto the site and plant the bomb. Or he might just opt to go up the vents. But with Bolts going down, he's just going to go for the safe play of getting that bomb down. FNX does find rocks. So we're in the two on three with the bomb down. If Fallen's able to stay alive here, there's a really good chance they can post up a decent defense here. Get away. FNX finds uh, a kill as well outside. So now it's a two on two. Luke and DGT both on the site. No utility other than the flash. They do have the kit though. He's on that bomb. They're not going to be able to stop him. FNX just isn't in the right position and they're going to steal the round away. A couple of smokes to work with. They might help to go for a faster play with rocks. Once again with this MP9, he's going to be needing to call into action right here and now. And uh, he manages to find one. It's just Bolt. He's managed to get away with the bomb, but there's four players still alive. It's the last round. He's going to get the bomb down, but this is going to be the most difficult post plan he could find himself in. Has to find four different kills in 9Z. They're not going to be the one on one. Rocks going to be coming out with DGT. Takes him down, and that's going to be 9Z taking their map pick of Nuke. Yeah, it's really well played by them. It felt like Imperial were running out of ideas. Now there's simply no time to waste, Lucy, as they just rush straight into this B bomb site. Yeah, Max is going to get mullied off from Nubox here. Rox has been forced out as well. Fallen takes down David Elsa. Max in this awkward fame duel, but Rox is actually going to save him. Takes down FNX and Fur. Vinish managed to pick up through. Now it's just Lucan left, and he gets taken down by Bolt. Down to the wire. There's still an opportunity for them to steal this one away. It's just David here on the defense. Although, if he can drop this bomb planter, that's everything. But he's actually going to get flashed off, not able to find the kill. That bomb gets down with two seconds to spare. David, they are aware of his position. He doesn't get mullied out or anything, though. So he has a good post plant position. It gets really difficult for the T's to play around this. Bolt's going to go for the aggression towards long. Gets taken out by rocks. Now, one, two players on site with Fur going down. It's just two site players left. FNX finds DGT, traded out by David, and now Fallen has three to find two, have barely a splinter of health on them, but no, it's going to be Max that finds them in the end. And nine, yeah, 30 seconds left on the clock. They're once again leaving this down to the wire. There's a bit of utility left on the CT as they've got three players here as well. Not going to be rotating yet, just aware of how quick these rotations will come through. David from the... Uh, balcony position finds the first one to fur. Lucan did a great position here to find Bolt. So Bolt has to jiggle the angle and find him and swing onto the player in mini pit. DC finds one, but with all those players going down, and Vinny finds the spam through the smoke and the edge of the wall to take down Rock. Solely anchoring this position. And 9Z, they've got incredibly aggressive towards top middle. This could definitely catch out Imperial. Look at this. They're going to push out, find Fur, and they know where Fallen is as well. One of the kills comes through. DGT just finds two, though, on FNX and Fallen. Bolt's left alone. He's down to 30 as well. It might be an opportunity now for 9Z to find their second round on this CT well, half. But you can't be thinking about the long-term success of the CT half if you're 9Z. They've got to focus on the here and now, take it round by round, and slowly build their Sit way. here and just be a thorn in their side. Just his presence delays any push that they can make at the moment. They have to clear him out because he can just come through at any moment. Fallen's going to be the one to do it. He's going to catch the timing. Takes down DC. He's going to open up the bomb site for Lucan. Sitting back here towards Long. Takes down both. That's going to drop the bomb as well. 20 seconds left. FNX spots David. Goes for the spam. Finds him in the end. Knows where Lucan is with his orb. 13 seconds left though. Has to be fast about it. He's going to swing out. Flash himself out. Looking for the kill. But Lucan holding the close angle. Finds him with the orb. And 9Z, they get their third. prevent any further aggression. But it still will be this man advantage for Imperial. And as soon as I say that, Lucan finds one in the apartment. Yeah, he's shot down the smoke to the block. David's going to be a great on here. He finds one and the second. Vinny does get the spray, but not before the damage is done. That is the bomb spotted as well. Rox is able to rotate over here. Bomb does get retrieved by Vinny. 
gonna be sticking around here. Gonna be on rock. He spots Finny jumping up, but Finny gets the kill. He's gonna open up the bomb site. Lucan through the smoke finds Finny. It's the one on two. He spots the player and finds both as well. A great crossfire from Imperial. A bit of an unconventional one with the two players towards short. Effect is gonna get contact onto David. But falls back off it. Back into this set default that they're holding here. The great line. It does drop the bomb as well. David was carrying it as he swung in. So now Rock's gonna swing out. Vinny with the duelies takes him down. Now it's just the three players left. They do recover that bomb. All of the CTs have rotated over. So even though they're going to start wrapping through CT, oh, they might catch a time here. No bolt is hurt. Let me try and take them down. But no, Max wins the duel. Now it makes things a bit weird. There are three players on the A site still. That bomb is going to be going towards B. First one that's going to be tested here. He's tucked in towards Ruins. There's going to come. He's going to swing out, but not able to find the kill. Luca takes him down. That's going to be the bomb allowed to get into the site and plant it. And we're now into the three on three. Max, the chance here on the fall, and they're going to spot each other. Going back and forth, but Max is the one that wins that duel. Now, FNX and Vinny coming up through Banana. Vinny has the duelies. So he's got the weaponry to do the job, but does have to find their heads. FNX push up into an advanced position. Going to push GGT off the angle and take him down. He can tuck in the back, gets down the FNX as well. Now it's just Max left. The bomb is planted for him, but he goes down. And I think there's enough time. FNX on the DP is so great. Looks to be established early with Luka getting so aggressive. No flashbangs or grenades, which means Fur can have a clean peek onto him and we'll just remove him from this round. He's actually going to go in for more aggression. This three-man stack of B for Imperial, it doesn't even matter because 9Z can't get past the first hurdle. Reflashing back into Banana. It's actually going to blind anyone except for Fur. But he will win out the fight and now it's all onto DGT in this one versus four. Yeah, Fur does it all. Finds four kills in the end in Banana. Push him off. He's going to flash himself through. Player sitting. Oh, he's aware of this push from Max. In fact, catches him off guard. Shot close. FNX in kit. Able to find one. Does get traded out in the end as well, though. So we can able to push forward. But the nade from Vinny takes him down. Looks crosshair now. over at CT. If we look at the other side of the map as well, crossfire being established between Balcony and Short. But DGT. Big thorn in the side. It doesn't matter. Oh, because once again, all the kills are initially favoring Imperial, but David, that's a lovely couple of headshots. The bomb it has been spotted. And now DJ's got this opening. Yeah, FNX though taking him down now makes it really difficult for David to find a way in. The CTs, there's two towards A site at the moment. FNX is aware of, but Vinny, I don't know if you'll be ready for this player at Arch. Playing such a passive line, just ready for David to walk in. David has to be ready to clear this, and he is, in fact, finds the kill under Vinny. Now just has to find FNX, and then he can make his way into it, but no, FNX takes him down. Now, here the perfect reason why to take this aggression as well. That's going to be the bomb drop by Fallen, although it is picked back up. Yeah, these players, such a little HP. That aggression towards Banana, it's just completely opened it up. Now, Max going to drop in here. I catch Bolts off, but no, the railing, it blocks the bullets. Bolts manages to find him, and David, despite he's gotten all the way into library, does get taken down pretty quick. Well, a really good attempt to build their way back into it and make this contestable, because remember, this was 7-1 to his oh, That's a lovely shot from Luca with that grenade. Oh, it's going to finish him off if it wasn't for Fur just dialing in the dish. Four. Fallen's already rotated, and he spotted another player towards Long. Four versus three, and Imperial. They're just three kills away. Make that two from taking us to dust two. Yeah, Fallen looking like he's in his prime at the moment with the way he's wielding that up. Just darting around the map, finding the openings, and now Max is left with the impossible to do. Four players to find, a minute to do it, get sprayed down by Vinny, and that's going to be Imperial taking their map pick. It will be, so it's all to play for over on Dust 2. But So don't go anywhere, and we'll see you in just a couple of minutes to see which one of these two teams is going to come out on top. It does look like to be the case as well, and for FNX and Bolts, they're just going to go into a quick retreat. It's actually fast from 9Z, but David, he does get the trade on to FNX, and they're just going to advance with the pace here. And 90 is going to really take the fight to Imperial, but the kills, they're all coming through the smoke. It's all such a chaotic mess. And now David, he can't... He's going to burn away his toes just a little bit. There's 
9's been towards the upper tunnels. The second AW here of Vinny is going to be absolutely huge. But are they aware that Rox is already here? Spotted out at the first instance. Now Vinny can just turn it on in. But Luke, and what an incredible shot. And that's going to be the warning sign for Imperial to save. They're going to turn around and yeah, sprint. Yes, him. Fire is slowly rotating in. That bomb is going to start to make its way over. Fur, this nade, might just overshoot the mark. These things are already pushing out. And Rox, yeah, catches him off guard. But he now, in the position to cancel this out, gets flashed off but still finds Rox. So it's now going to be a three on four. That bomb is able to make its way in. All of the T's towards the site. Going to have two playing up towards Goose here. Short, completely uncontested. And that's where Bolt is going to come from. He's going to find two. And, well, now it's just David left. He's picked up this AWP. But they're just jumping to find him. And FNX finds him in the end. So... A great retake there from Imperial. Timing here. FNX on the site. He's gonna swing out looking for a kill. Doesn't find it. Fallen. He's just been sitting in this the whole time. He hears all of them go past. When's he gonna activate? He does now. Finds Max. Gonna dart back around these smokes and he's staying alive. They can't find him. Rox does eventually spray him down through the smoke. But now it's a three on three. Furs up close. Lucan takes down Biddy. Fur manages to get the trade onto Rox now. It's just Lucan on the site. GGT coming on the flank from Long though finds him. And now Bolts has to find two. Knows where both of them are. Jumps up onto the site, but it's taken down by Lucan. And... Another boost being mantled. I love seeing stuff like this. Yeah, it's keeping the CTs interested as well. It's playing out exactly how they want it. It's just Bolts here on the B side, although the rotator has come over now. There's no one in mid, so there is an opening here. Vinny is sort of jiggling the angle, but T's have just taken too long. They've given up too many of these engagements. Bolts finds two for free. No one really positioned to trade. And now Fur's going to get flashed through. He does go down, though. Max does find him. He's going to drop the defensive smoke, but there's still two CTs on the site. Three Ts. He's still committing to B. Still have flashbangs in the bag, so they can make a play for this, but these CTs have really locked themselves into the corners here. It's going to be a difficult duel just to get into this site, and then the post plant. Biddy and Bolts both going to chime in. Not a single kill going the way of the T's, and the aggression here. They're holding for him, though. They're ready for it. They try and swing. Oh, the trade's all awkward. He's trying to shoot through the door. The flash comes through. He actually drops one. He does find him in the end, but full blind if an X finds that kill. That's more than it seemed like he was going to be able to do. Now, Fur. And he's taking a bit of control towards Short as well, which is where the rest of these teams are grouped up. Oh, the spam through the smoke. Max just catches him. Fallen chimes in with a kill on David in mid, though. Now the three on three. Make control. Taken by the CTs. Fallen's going to slowly be clearing this with the orb, but Max is up in this tight angle and he swings out and finds both on the spray down. Gonna be a fast play up towards long here. Max he has the crosshair in the right place, but doesn't pull the trigger. But it doesn't matter. David finds two of his own. Fallen does get the response. So, 20 seconds into the round, and we're already into the three on three. Control proving frivolous. Fallen actually gonna go down. Can't get back around the corner. The flash is perfect. We can drop these smokes. It was a very difficult one for the two remaining CTs. But he has gotten in quite early though. Bit here. Although, ooh, he gets spotted out on the edge. He throw this nade, but now they're fully aware of his position. He gets mollied out. Bolt's gonna push forward. He's playing around this smoke. My a bit of a cheeky jump play, and it works! He finds Rox! GG, gonna take down Biddy, and now it's just Bolt. He's trying to jump for something. He's got a smoke here he can play around for a little bit. These jump antics, surely he can't pull it off twice. Already gotten away with the first kill. Oh, we're going to play it towards Bomb. What's the head of DG? The, the flash actually catches him, but he'd already spot He's committed either way. Trying to see who's going to win out this duel with Lucan. And in fact, he's going to be forced back off. This is going to open up the avenue towards the B side. The flash from Lucan, it's going to be good. It's been out off the top of it. Fur does take down Lucan, though, and Rock, he's all alone on the side. He goes down the fur as well. Max looking for an opening through this smoke, but Lucan's going to be holding it. They're going to go for the boost. I'm gonna look around for it, but oh, it's a difficult post plant. Yeah, they can't even get past Vinny. They're just making so much noise. He's so aware that they're gonna be here. Gonna actually clear him out the angle though. And Imperial, you don't want to keep fighting these long range duels with the USPs, because there's only one favored fighter. Three versus three, four is tucked in. Oh, but actually, David, he's doing all the work. This retake, it's really on. It's now left all up to bolts. And he's just trying to buy time. He's just trying to tuck in. There is a hit on the board. 
and DGT, does he have enough time to do it? I think there's just enough. And I tell you what, 9Z, they win the pistol. Here, one towards Goose, playing around Rap. So play down towards Long Beach. He's going to get mollied out towards Goose. He has to push forward to site. He might have caught him off here, and Lucan also brought low from the utility. DGT just burns out. Both of them burn out. The molly. None of these T players saw any of the CTs. They just killed them all with utility. Now Bolts with the long range Mac 10 wins the duel onto David. Prox finds one onto Benny, but they're just a constellation kill at this point, and Bolts going hunting with this orb. Yeah, really systematically done from Imperial there, covering the entire bomb site in flame, not once but twice. It was the second wave of incendiary grenades that put to rest two of the more crucial pieces of the puzzle that 9Z were mounting for their defense over towards the A bomb site. Really well played from Imperial. And Max is just trying to live in CT. And I've actually thrown away a number of rifles, yeah. Burn himself down there, running through the molly and then dropping down. All that. It's going to be a favorable engagement to be holding it, but definitely no orb in play. Max gets flashed out, finds one, but he does get the trade. Player advantage still towards him, uh, towards 9Z. Guns advantage is definitely not. Lucan is here with a P250. He's not the man you want defending it. DGT coming in with that M4. He's going to be critical if they want to hold on to this. Unless Lucan can do something special, which he does. He finds the first of the video with a P250. Not quite able to find a second. Fallen is brought low. DGT he's forced off the angle. Fallen, he's pushing up towards site with that bomb. He's going to get it down. And FNX catches DGT as well. And now all oh, the jumping and quirks for David's advantage. He takes down Fallen. FNX takes the uh, aggressive peak. But Rock's able to trade him out. in such a good position to potentially capitalize on Imperial. Got to be careful though, because it's boost. He's actually going to get caught out in between the fire and the flames. David stands victorious. And this round, it's all but done. Yeah, David taking down the Goliath that is Imperial out towards Long. Very solid play there. And now Fiddy going to be looking for maybe an opening towards B. There is a player tucked in here. Max holding the line. Bit of an off angle here above the car. It's a difficult one to clear. He's got a player coming over to support as well. So, oh, Fiddy does find the kill. Filthy comes in, so they might be able to get a bomb plan out of this. Filthy's going to take their time to rotate over. A lot of utility for the post plant. FNX does have a single smoke, so can re smoke the doors. That's going to go down now. Goody aggressing into halls. Ooh, doesn't actually find the kill impact. A bit of damage. Retrieve Molotov. So slow down this retake even further. David trying to spam through. Finds Vinny. Now FNX has to find four if he wants to steal this one away. And DGT going to deny it. once again. Yeah, great line to be holding with that AWP. You just don't expect it. And Max boosts up here on this off angle. It's perfect. Finney even goes down in the smoke. Full and he's already low from that engagement earlier. They might not be aware that he's low. But he certainly is. And old Bolt's trying to lurk around the smoke rocks. Shuts him down. And now full in. 14 HP. 5 CTs. I know you want to just try and keep a hold of this. But you can see they've actually got a bit of bank. So they could go hunting if they wanted to. Or there's a player ready. DGT. Perfect position with this grenade. Oh, that's going to be chunky. And oh, it is. It almost takes down Fallen completely. And now he can just sit back on the site. That's his M4, the long rate advantage. We can also chiming in. And it's just a matter of time before all these players get sprayed down. So what, DGT has been really impressing me this series. He was a huge part of their success um, in the RMRs. And he's looking just as hot here. Getting four in the round. Don't doubt Imperial clear it, but there could be an opportunity here to maybe catch someone off guard. And Bolts is going to swing out, but David does find him. Not able to get the trade immediately. In fact, he swings in and takes out FNX as well. And Fallen, he's brought down to 19, swaps to the USP. Fallen does take him down eventually. Benny actually finds another kill as well on A side. So let's open that up. But Max, he's come through mid. He's dropped the bomb. He's taken down Fallen. Benny, oh, he gets the trade back onto Max. It's trades back and forth. Both Benny and Fur are brought low. CTs. Okay, now it's just GGT. He's been the star of this squad so far. Has the bomb. Are they going to be ready for his position here? They're actually going to throw the molly through. He steps through into it, finds Vinny, but can't quite find the kill into Fur. And Imperial. He has to find an opening if Imperial want to take this round. Such a nice crossfire being established as well. Max is half his body's tucked in at this wall. And since he does actually move away a little bit, but GGT will continue. His domination. Lucan's now posted on this angle. 
and things are falling apart for Imperial. Jimmy hits the deck and Max gets bailed out. Further, Imperial, they're gonna have to make a move. They're gonna win. But Max, he's already holding the line, swinging in. Oh, and Rox is just tucked in as well. It's only a matter of time before this all falls apart. And 9Z, they take the series 2 1 over Imperial. And they just get it done. Really well played by them. Oh, wow. What a series, Lucy.